Hello everyone, welcome to Book Club Preview. I'm Michael, and today we're looking at The City of Ember, Chapter 3, Under Ember. <laughs> Under Ember. And uh, man, I really like this chapter because it's all from uh, Dune's perspective. The first two chapters were all from Lena, so this one's a, a little bit different. And I, I, I just connect a little bit more uh, with Dune, so I really enjoyed it. So it starts off with Dune um, going to his first day at the Pipeworks, just like Lena did as a messenger. He goes in there and people are all getting ready and he's just kind of standing around um, waiting for someone to I don't know, call him or ask him for something. And uh, Linster Monk comes out and says he's the director of the Pipeworks and he gets uh, Dune a, a raincoat and some boots and and he just kind of says, okay, uh, you're working for the Pipeworks now. Uh, let's get you ready and um, go off to work. And so his first task is to go to Tunnel 97 and to work with this young woman, Arlene um, Froll. And uh, even though she looks young and small, um, she, um, Lester says, uh, she, but she's an expert. She knows what she's doing. Learn from her and then you can... Um, be a pipe worker too and so Arl um, it's Arl Erlen and Dune uh, go out to work on their task and before they go straight to tunnel 97 um, Arlene just kind of shows Dune where everything is and so they're going down these steps down these steps and there's this sound <laughs> And man, dudes, what is it? And they keep going down and down, and they get to the river. And Dune has never seen a river before, certainly never seen the river. He's heard about it many times, but he thought it would just be like a, a flow of water. But this was just like, boom, just this huge, um, powerful river <laughs> that, that we would know. And uh, he was just, whoa, just blown away by it, um, by the darkness of it, because everything's dark in Ember, and certainly under Ember. And then uh, Errol kind of takes him, I don't know why I keep calling her Errol, um, Arlene keeps, takes him up to the beginning of the river, and over off to the side is the generator room, and oh, can, can I go see the generator room? No, no, of course not. It's off limits. Oh, dang. And then Arlene takes Dune to the end of the river where it just stops. And where does it go? I don't know. I guess deeper underground. And so um, that's kind of the river. All right, now it's time to get to work. They go into Tunnel 97, which is a little complicated. They have this map that they take out and they have to follow the map and learn where they go. I, I guess there's no signs pointing to things. They have to study this map. And uh, Dune said it, it looks like a centipede. Uh, if you've seen like a, a centipede, it's a, it's a long bug with a bunch of sections and then legs are coming out each side. Um, Google uh, images for a centipede and you can get a, a good really picture. But in the middle there's the river and then there's tunnels coming off it in every direction. And they follow this map, they get to Tunnel 97, there's a leak, um, they stop the water, they take out the pipes, they get all wet, they put the pipe back on, fix it, turn the water back on. Then they're covered in water, but it's time for lunch, they're having a snack. Arlene says, hey, I'm going to go visit some friends, stay here or you'll get lost. Arlene leaves and Dune is like, uh, I'm not going to stay here. I'm going to go check out the generator. And so he takes out his map. Luckily, he finds his way to the river and then to the generator. And he he's waiting by the doors because I guess they're locked. Someone comes out for their lunch and he grabs the door and he sneaks in. And <laughs> the sound is just, what is going on? And the generator is this huge tower and it's just spinning. But it doesn't look like it's spinning. 
It's spinning like not looking good. And Dune covers his ears because it's painful. And uh, he tries to talk to someone and ask him about the generator, but that person can't hear him. All the generator workers are wearing headphones. Uh, eventually, he decides to leave, and uh, he's just really brokenhearted. Because Dune, Dune's really smart, and he can figure things out really easily. Um, and he thought, you know, maybe he could figure out how electricity is made. Maybe there's something he could see to discover how to how to save the city but when he sees the generator he just oh, I can't understand this I can't figure this out and he feels overwhelmed and disappointed because it really looks like the city is falling apart we're running out of light bulbs the pipes are falling apart and the generator is falling apart so on his return home uh, he's feeling pretty bad uh, his dad has a shop of just selling small items Usually he talks to his dad when he comes home, but he just goes straight to his room and it's just kind of like, oh, oh man, what am I going to do? Oh, he did stop by and see Lena, uh, which we saw in the other one. He walked in, saw her, and then just continued on home. But he's just feeling sad because cause he felt like, oh, I, I was made for something great. I, I want to save the city. I want to do something important. I just work at the pipe works and it's terrible and it's awful and he he gets so angry he takes up a bottom part of a shoe and he throws it at the door right as he throws it the door opens up and boom dad gets smacked in the ear and his dad says oh what's that for and dude oh dad oh I'm so sorry uh, I was just angry I lost my temper and I threw the shoe and Dad comes over and sits down and says, hey, son, what's going on? What's what's the problem? Dune kind of explains his day, how he's feeling. And his dad he gives him some really great advice. And he says, wow, well, son, you're working at the pipe works. Uh, you can't control that. That's your job, and that's what you have to do. But you can't control what you have, but you can control what you do with what you have. He said, and that, I think that's the real point. And Dune is like, yeah, I guess you're right, Dad. And Dad says, Dune, you're special. You're so smart and clever. And I know you can do something. Keep your eyes open. Uh, look at things that other people don't see. Find something that you know only you can do. Because I know, son, you're built for greatness. And you're going to do something amazing. And so Dune says, yeah, okay, Dad, I guess you're right. And then Dad asks him, like, hey, I'm how's your little worm and we find out that dune um he's kind of a scientist uh he loves observing and collecting things and he loves to look at spiders and moths and any bugs and he, he has a journal and he calls it crawling and flying things where he just write his observations about different insects and dr do drawings and um, one day while they were eating there was a little worm on one of his salad leaves and he kept it and this little worm looks really happy uh, just eating its leaf and he's been observing it and documenting it and um, it seems kind of cool um, and he's just kind of I don't know enjoying um, experimenting not experimenting observing uh, this bug and that helps him feel a little better as he's writing down his observations and that is how the chapter ends so vocabulary Whew. a lot of vocabulary in here if I didn't get the word um, that you had a question about, please write it in the comments. Uh, that way I can answer it there and other people can see the answer. But certainly underline it or highlight it and ask when we get together and talk because I want to explain those words. It's really important that you get those answers and then you can read the sentence understanding that word. Okay, And of course, um, practicing this vocabulary practicing writing sentences in it and posting them to YouTube or even if you don't post them to the comments maybe you have your own journal and write them down that's going to help you remember and use these words much much more easily um, later on as you continue to grow okay so uh, that's extra but it's so helpful so please do it if you have time or if you have just that motivation of oh, I really want to learn English
First one, anticipation is like hoping and waiting for something. It's a, it's kind of a feeling, right? Oh, I'm going to go get to do this exciting thing tomorrow. Ah, I'm so excited. And Dune kind of feels, oh, the pipe works. What's it going to be like? What am I going to learn? He has this anticipation and uh, this kind of excitement of what mystery um, on there. Investigation, looking into some event or situation to find the truth or to find information. And so uh, Dune has done many investigations and how does this work or why are things like this or things like that and just getting information. Damp means a little wet. So in the pipe works, everything is damp. It's just a little wet. You imagine uh, after you take a hot shower or a hot bath, uh, the bathroom feels like there's uh, some water in the air. Uh, we can that's called humid, but also uh, we can say damp, like the things around have water um, in them and on them. <laughs> Mold and moldy. Mold is uh, kind of that green um, plant. Uh, I don't know if it's actually a plant. Um, it could be bacteria or fungus or something. Um, but it's that green thing that grows on old bread. We call that mold. And it has a, a smell. If you don't clean your bathroom, your bathroom will smell moldy. Maybe you can't see it, but you can smell it in the air. It's growing somewhere. And uh, that's how the pipe works smell. And actually the, uh, the jacket that uh, <laughs> poor Dune puts on is <sniffs> smells like dirty, sweaty socks. Ugh, poor guy. Strode, um, that's kind of a walk, I believe. I don't remember that word. I wonder if I mistyped it or spelled something else. But strode, walked, walked strongly. Um, slickers. This is that rain jacket uh, that Dune wore, his kind of uniform um, for the pipe works. I imagine like that yellow rain jacket uh, that you can kind of see in movies. Um, long yellow rain jacket, something like that, uh, slickers. Um, ruckus is like um, chaos. Um, another word is commotion of people just doing things and making sound and noise and not really having order or control. And the next word, clamor, is the sound that kind of comes from it, okay? Ruckus is the disorder, okay? Order and not order, disorder. Clamor is more of the <laughs> the sound that's going along with it. Throng um, is kind of a well I'm trying to think of the sentence that it was used in, in this case but I think of like a uh, a throng but I'm not sure if that's what it meant um, in this oh okay yes so sorry um, Thro I, I was right, um, but Lister emerged from the throng, from the clamor, the kind of going through. So the throng is like the group of people in chaos and the sound. Okay, sorry about the wait there. Um, but yeah, just wanted to make sure that context was right. In English, it's so important to look at the sentence that the vocabulary word is in or even the sentences around it because based on that context we call it the meaning can change or the feeling of it can change and so uh yeah it's, it's important to remember where that came from turbulent next one here is kind of the the sound and the push of the river that energy of uncontrolled power of like a river or it could even be air when you're in an airplane the turbulence that wind that pushes you around that power um, that's kind of flowing where it wants is turbulent or turbulence um, uh, rivulet is 
now if you imagine like a metal okay and oftentimes when there's metal there's not um, screws there can be but there's these like um, boom and then it like squeezes together okay um, rivlets and they're kind of closed in together you you can't really open it um, it's just um, smashed in there closed and it's it looks like a nail or a screw but it's kind of on both sides and it the machine just mushes it together this could be a, a really good picture um, Google this image and you can see it really really cl clearly but from those pipes there's water dripping out of those uh, little spaces spurts is like <laughs> if you can imagine going swimming or maybe even taking a shower or bath and getting water in your mouth and going <laughs> you just <laughs> that's a spurt just a maybe short or not powerful flow or push of water stout is oftentimes short but kind of tough and strong short and I am not stout <laughs> I am lean I'm tall and thin stout is got compact and uh, muscular and the last one I have here is horrendous horrendous is terrible awful <sighs> that horror right horror horrendous something so terrible and awful causes fear and so when dune goes inside the generator room it's a horrendous <gasps> almost scary the sound is so terrible and there are plenty more after this, but those are certainly uh, some key ones that I thought might be helpful for you. Discussion question. I, I want to go back to that comment that Dune's dad said. What you do with what you get, that's more the point. Man, what do you think about that idea? Um, you know, there's so many different things. I've heard this um, uh, phrase, um, success Oh, what is it? Is 10% perspiration, that's like um, your sweat, and 90%. Oh, I'm trying to think now, inspiration? Perspective? Oh, something like that. So sorry, I can't remember that. But the point is the same that we can't control things outside of our control. Um, maybe what your parents give you for breakfast, maybe what your teacher gives you for homework, uh, maybe uh, something happening on your way to school. There are things we can't control in life, but what we do with that situation, we can control, right? Um, you can think of maybe someone you have a bad relationship with. Maybe they call you a bad name. Well, you can't control that person's actions but you can control yours and how you respond to that person. Okay, that kind of idea. What do you think about that idea? Do you agree? Do you disagree? And do you have examples of how this has affected you or how you use this um, in life, all right? That's kind of a tough one. You have to really think about it, all right? Um, it's a deep question, but I know you can do it. Of course, please make your own discussion questions. That is all the time that we have for today. But thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Book Club Preview. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hey, if you have any questions about the video today, uh, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. If you had any other vocabulary words that you wanted to know what they meant, uh, let me know. And also, if you're interested in maybe joining one of these book clubs, um, please leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.